This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Raise the vehicle and securely support the front and rear of it with jack stands on a level surface. Remove the engine undershield if equipped. Note that the transaxle must be refilled from below the vehicle, so make sure that the vehicle is supported in a level position. Make sure that the vehicle's wheels are completely clear of the ground. Position a drain pan beneath the transaxle. Wipe the fluid pan clean, then unscrew the drain plug located on the right hand side of the pan. Allow the fluid to drain into the container. Once the fluid has drained, clean the drain plug and the opening on the pan. Install a new seal on the drain plug and then thread it into the pan. Tighten it to the specified torque. Unscrew the inspection plug at the rear of the pan. Add the correct type of transmission fluid using a special tool equipped with a thin nozzle at the end until it runs out of the hole. The nozzle of the tool being used to add fluid must pass through the window in the deflector cap. With the gear selector in park position, allow the engine to idle until it reaches normal temperature. If necessary, add more fluid until it runs out of the inspection hole. Depress the brake pedal, then select each gear position with the shift lever, pausing for about 3 seconds in each position. Return the shifter to the park position. At this stage, the VW technician connects the tester to confirm that the fluid temperature is between 95 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. If the fluid level is checked when the temperature is too low, overfilling will occur. If the fluid level is checked when the temperature is too high, underfilling will occur. With the engine still running at idle speed, allow any excess fluid to run out of the inspection hole. Turn off the engine. Then clean the inspection plug and opening. Install the inspection plug with a new seal. Then tighten to the specified torque. Lower the vehicle. 